Jim, what do we make of Austria? And, and more importantly, what do we make of Germany saying that they're in a national emergency and they will not say a lockdown's not coming there either? I think these are outliers. I think the market's way, down way too much because of these. I think oil's down because of these. Uh, a lot of our cyclicals don't, and it is silly. Uh, these are uh, outlier countries because there's been no vaccine mandate. It's very easy to create a vaccine mandate. You could be like Portugal. Boom. I mean, the whole country is just almost entirely vaccinated. So this is a short-term issue, uh, causing people to get a great opportunity to buy things. Uh, yeah, there's a, been some work done, J.P. Morgan, earlier in the week, saying Europe basically vaccinated a lot of people early, but stumbled on the boosters. Yes. Uh, that's why you're actually seeing a positive correlation between vax rates and cases, which is very weird. And why uh, the Moderna Pfizer news today on FDA is so important, David. Yeah, I mean, you, you continue to... Uh, uh, wonder at what point will this be treated as something that is obviously always going to be with us, unfortunately, but be in the background, Jim. And I say that because obviously there's boosters out there. But as we also know and have talked about for quite some time, these oral antivirals from both Merck and now Pfizer as well are going to be available potentially quite soon. I think uh, the panel is going to meet at the end of this month on the on the Merck on Molnupiravir. Pfizer probably not far behind in terms of that. They have uh, they have submitted EUA. And so you do wonder, Jim, Will these kinds of scares go away in the sense of, yes, unfortunately, COVID will be something that is never going away fully, but that we are going to be dealing with and dealing with effectively, of course, uh, for, for years to come and therefore not going to react this way. Granted, when hospitalizations are up, you, these countries do feel a need to act. Well, these are all countries that uh, have a tremendous uh, freedom of action. And freedom of action has always been proven to be the problem with COVID. Uh, any place that stubbornly resists uh, the central government, uh, and it's certainly the case in Germany, where you actually have whole countries within Germany, uh, tells me that these are short term. Because in the end, the central government wins. Uh, a, a lockdown of, it, of Germany cannot last very long. Uh, I point to the fact that Italy, which is perhaps the most hard hit country in all of Europe, has gotten their act together entirely. Why? Because the central government there said, this is it. We're done. No more of this. Uh, our, our country is kind of in the middle. We went with kind of uh, a federalist system where the states had more power than anybody believes. But you can absolutely put an end to COVID uh, as a, a life-threatening flu and make it into a horrible flu uh, that is very infectious, but is not infectious if you have lots of people who have the booster. Look, Dr. Gottlieb has said over and over again, get the booster. But the, and he felt, I think, that there was, Carl, a kind of a strange uh, differentiation that was caused by the government, our government, M meaning that, look, if you've already had two, you know a third doesn't matter. It's fine. But our government didn't say that, uh, had mixed message. So, Carl, we're sitting here looking at what's happening in Europe, knowing what's happening in some of our states, and just saying the economy worldwide is slowing. I'm not buying it one bit. What an opportunity, Carl. What an opportunity to buy stuff that's just being thrown away left and right because of Austria and, I don't know, some provinces in Germany that are just uh, resistant to the central government, as they've been since, uh, since the country was created. Uh, it's a good point. I mean, between the boosters and the antivirals, as David points out. So if things are on sale unnecessarily, what do you buy? I mean, do you go right into uh, materials? Do you go right into travel? What, what's on sale today that, that looks interesting? I think that travel is good. I think retail is great. If we get that kind of uh, wholesale pullback in retail, uh, because these, the numbers are incredible. The American consumer is amazingly strong. Anything related to the American consumer, whether it's travel, whether it's be uh, spending at the mall, is just a fantastic opportunity. And I think you pounce on it. Uh, maybe we get more bad news in Europe on Monday, uh, over the weekend. So you pounce some today and then some next week. We're oversold. The Dow's been down for a long time. Technology can't always lead us. When, that look, uh, when the list of watch, remember, Costco had no problem with margins whatsoever. Uh, when you look at the airlines, there was an upgrade today at Southwest. I don't like Southwest. This is not the same Southwest as you remember. But I will turn to, and David, you can uh, make fun of me all you want, and I think that's perfectly fine. I'm going back to Boeing after, after three upgrades. I'm now <laughs> confident that something happens. Oh, wait, you say going back to. You've never abandoned Boeing, which is why I've been I can't abandon fun. Boeing. Because There's only you two continue companies to say very negative wobbly. things about Boeing. For years, and yet you haven't sold it. Now, he, I, I, he doesn't know how to quit. Yeah, he doesn't. I don't know how to quit. No, I'm not a quitter quit when it comes going. to Boeing. I'm not a quitter.